Hi, I'm Kelly Busby and we're going to talk about uh, putting a regulator on an H-cylinder. H-cylinder are the big tanks and how we remember this is H, me H means huge. So um, I need a regulator and I've got two choices of regulator. The one that I need to pick is going to be the one that fits this. This right here is a pin and index safety system and this goes to the little E-cylinder. So I don't want this one. To put this on, I'm going to have to get a wrench because I just don't have the strength in my hands. If this is a little tight, sometimes you have to tap it a little bit. You can't put oil on these um, threads because they won't, uh, uh, you're not supposed to put oil around this equipment. It's going to be kind of noisy. Now, before I do anything, I have to crack the cylinder. Cracking the cylinder means it's, it's, it's got its little seat belt on, it's in its little basket, or actually we call this a uh, cart. And I'm not putting my hand in the way because I need to get this air go out. I'm going to clean out the, uh, the device by cracking the cylinder. It's going to be pretty loud. Cracking the cylinder. Okay. Now, I'm going to thread this onto here. And I know it fits because it's oxygen, and this is an oxygen tank. I know it's oxygen because I've read it, and I know that this is oxygen because I've read the, the regulator. You can only hook oxygen up to an oxygen regulator because it's part of the safety system. This is a high pressure connection, which is also part of the safety system. And I'm going to tighten it. Now we try to keep this straight while we're tightening. Sometimes if you have if your hands aren't strong, like a lot of us women don't have strong hands, I will bring down. I will tighten it by dropping my knees and using the weight of my hips to tighten it. Men generally don't have a problem, but sometimes women we have a little bit of a problem. Now that I've got this set up, I want to have this turned off. I think this is off. We'll find out. And I'm going to open the, um, the valve stem and the gas is going to go into the regulator. Okay, it was closed. Now, it hopped because this is a compensated flow meter. This is a Thorpe tube. And this, of course, is our um, board on gauge. And the, together, it's all called the regulator. I can turn my flow on. Give my patient his oxygen. When we're done, I can come over here and go ahead and close it. When in doubt, just read. It tells you what's open and what's closed. And the reason why I shut it off when this is still going is I need to bleed out the gas that's in here before I actually close this because if I hadn't bled this out, when I loosened this, I would have had 200 pounds per square inch of pressure in here. It's not much volume, but it's enough to pinch my fingers. I might even break a finger, so we have to be careful with that. Now I'm gonna close this, and I think we're about done with this one.